Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to get right to this so you got things to do. So let me get into this. That strong tropical wave right there may develop some as we go throughout the week ahead. I think uh, I was talking about this uh, with you about a week ago that we could see some development late month or early July. And that's, uh, that's what we're seeing with this. This tropical wave here is going to march its way through the Caribbean this week. It's the strongest tropical wave we've seen so far this season, and this will work its way in. And as it does, conditions could become, could become conducive for some development later this week. Let me zoom down. On the uh, short term, we're seeing some areas of rain and flooding. There's that surge of moisture from Cuba up toward the Bahamas. Scattered storm Central America back through Colombia, still too dry in the ABC Islands. And there's one tropical wave that moved in, and there's that bigger one that will be heading our way the next next few days. In the short term, that's going to bring some extra rain. We've already had some of the rain this morning near Grenada. Uh, Dominica, we've had some rain and storms uh, from last night and this morning. So here's one area, but it's that area back behind it. You see this here, that big flare-up. That's the stronger tropical wave. It looks like it'll hang together in the short term. No signs of development over the next uh, couple of days, but this will bring in another surge of moisture. Here's Guyana and Suriname. And then as this works into the Caribbean, it could gradually develop this week. I want to show you that with the uh, computer model. I want to show you what I'm seeing in the environment and we'll get into the wave heights in this video. So you see it right there. There's that big blob. Here we are in Barbados. Trinidad, there's that blob here. That's the one to track very carefully as we go throughout the week. And that's what I'll be watching. A couple more tropical waves, another one emerging off the uh, coast of Africa. Always keeping an eye on kind of what's out there. We swing out here, that area that followed Alberto did fall apart, uh, brought some extra moisture to parts of Mexico. Mexico scattered rain and storms, which is actually generally a welcome sight since we still need to get some rain. A lot of us still making up for some of the rain. So let me take it through it each day this this week. This is today. You see some areas of rain, the Yucatan scattered about Cayman Islands, Cuba, and then there's that surge of moisture that's going to be working its way into the Caribbean as we go over the next couple days. So this is tomorrow, southeastern sections of the Caribbean. That's where it's going to be wetter over toward Trinidad. We'll see some flooding. That's going to be a potential. Northeastern Caribbean, not as much. Passing shower in Tiga, Barbuda, back through Puerto Rico. But let's get into midweek now and stop the clock here. This is that tropical wave. That blob will eventually be over here, just south of Haiti and the Dominican Republic, uh, just north of the ABC Islands. At that point, not developed, but then let me take you into Thursday. Here we are in Jamaica. So in Jamaica, I'm going to be watching this very carefully to see if we get either increased rain or the potential of some sort of developing system in the central and western uh, Caribbean later this week. And then you see here on the map, by the time we hit Friday, and I'll stop the clock here, this is the American model, much like the European model. They're both showing the same thing. And I checked in on the Canadian, the German icon model, looking at everything. All the scenarios showing something like this. Now, it's not showing it uh, becoming a tropical storm quite yet by Friday, uh, but it's not out of the uh, question. Just an area of a lot of rain. And then at this time, late week, conditions are a little more conducive for some development. So it wouldn't be a surprise to see this kind of head in the general direction of Jamaica and then start to kind of rotate or get a little bit better organized. And then most of the indications are that this would swing back near Belize, uh, the UK. Yucatan, and then it's way toward the uh, Gulf of Mexico. So definitely a spot to watch for the upcoming week. You see it now. You see that big blob that's off toward uh, the east of us. That's what we'll be tracking. Now, getting a look at kind of the setup. I don't just look at the models. I look at the environmental conditions. This here is the seven-day temperature uh, change. And what we've seen in the Gulf of Mexico, you see this blue shading here. The water temperatures have cooled, and that makes sense because Alberto was in there. We had another system following Alberto that did not get a name. There's been a lot of stormy activity here, so the water temperatures have cooled a little bit here. Uh, but they've warmed up some in parts of the uh, Caribbean because we haven't had as much activity, say, over toward the ABC Islands, so conditions have actually warmed. But regardless of that, the temperatures are warm everywhere. Yes, we've gone down a little bit in the Gulf, but uh, not a great deal, and that's the thing this year. The water temperatures are so warm that even if we have a storm pass by the water and it cools it down 
uh, cools it down some, it's not enough. You see these water temperatures. Here's the Jamaica, the Cayman Islands. Water temperatures are around 29, uh, 30 degrees. That's about 84 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Same thing as we get south of the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. So all these water temperatures are very, very warm where this tropical wave is moving. That's just one ingredient. Then I look on, uh, at what's going on in the atmosphere above our heads. And here's a snapshot at Thursday. I know this map is crazy. There's a ton going on, but I like to let you know everything I'm seeing out there. By the time we hit Thursday, here's uh, Jamaica, here's the Cayman Islands. Uh, we're going to see this uh, area sliding somewhere in here. Now, this here is some wind shear just to the north of this area that may try to develop. Uh, so wind shear is a good thing, uh, but it's not super widespread. It's not like something you'd be seeing up here or this red shading over there. The red shading, that's higher wind shear. So the wind shear is not too expansive, which means as this gets over here in the warm water and uh, continues through the warm water in into an area that the wind shear is not too bad, it may have a chance of developing, especially in the Western Caribbean late week. And then eventually we'll see how this thing kind of evolves over toward the Gulf of Mexico. And you could pick it out here. Here's the uh, wind map. Here's the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, you get toward the Bahamas, Anguilla, St. Uh, Martin, St. Croix. And you see this, you see that little pocket right there, that whiter shading. Those are some wind gusts, not an organized system, but winds of 80 kilometers an hour, 50 miles per hour, some gustier winds. And then you see here, as we get into the middle of the week, stopping the clock here on Thursday, here's Jamaica. This is that tropical wave, some gustier winds. And then by the time we hit Thursday, we're going to see some gustier winds near the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. So thank you for spreading this uh, information around Jamaica. Nothing imminent, nothing crazy as of now coming our way, but stopping it here, this is by Friday. There could be a little circulation trying to develop in here in the Western Caribbean, not showing anything alarming, but at least a surge of rain, could see a surge of some wind, uh, but the, the storm threat, the overall chance of a tropical storm developing is gradually growing some, and then whatever this area is would kind of work its way uh, back into this direction over toward the Gulf as we work our way into that upcoming weekend. So this tropical wave has my intention, and this is what we'll be tracking throughout the week. Now, as far as the waves uh, with it, you can see here those wave heights building meters and feet. So we're looking at about two to three meters or about seven to 10, maybe 11 feet. Uh, we're going to see as this tropical wave works in, things are going to get bumpier right across the uh, Caribbean. We're going to get those elevated seas. This here is on our Tuesday. You see more of that green shading showing up, even a little of that yellow shading showing up. So the tropical wave moving in, thus we get the increased seas. And we'll see that from the Eastern Central into the Western Caribbean. This here is by Wednesday. Uh, we'll see increased seas approaching uh, Jamaica Wednesday into Thursday. This here is Thursday. It's this pocket I'm watching. Increased seas, Jamaica back to where the Cayman Islands, coastal sections of Honduras. Things will get uh, elevated as far as the seas are concerned. Providencia, uh, San Andres. And then as we work our way into Thursday and Friday, we'll see how this evolves and we'll see how this area kind of marches its way uh, back toward the uh, west. Now in the short term, watching out for the scattered rain, I mentioned last week we'd get the bump up in the rain chance in the Bahamas. We will today, not for all of us, but some spots over the next three days could get four inches of rain or 100 millimeters of some rain. Scattered storms across Jamaica, scattered about Haiti and the DR, not as many, but some isolated showers and storms. Jamaica and the Cayman Islands in the short term, a few isolated or scattered showers and storms. The end of the week, that's what we'll be watching that next tropical wave moving in. Could see a few passing showers, British Virgin Islands, Dominica. We've already had some of the uh, rain, as I was mentioning. And then the better chance in our southern sections as this next tropical wave moves in, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, even Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, the chance of rain does bump up. So let me know what you're getting. The actual flood threat will be a little higher toward uh, Trinidad as this moisture moves in. And not only that, but of course, as we swing back toward Guyana, we're going to see that uh, chance of rain elevated again, where we could get some totals of 150 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain. Extreme northern sections of Suriname will be on the outlook for rain. Now, Belize, back toward Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, scattered about. Of course, if you get stuck in some of these downpours, we could get some flooding. The good news here in Mexico, at least we have some coloring on the map. About a week ago, there was nothing at all. So scattered showers trying to help us out with the extreme drought conditions over toward Mexico. Now we have this, that's the area right there. We'll be watching one front uh, moving off the uh, eastern uh, seaboard of the U.S. And there's been some aggressive weather over toward parts of Canada and New England over the last 24 hours. I was talking about 
about that yesterday morning. Still watching out for the chance of showers and storms nearby. This is later today. You see anywhere from uh, Newfoundland uh, back down toward Nova Scotia. Could see a couple stronger thunderstorms. That is still a possibility today coming off that very active weather yesterday and then working our way into our Tuesday. Uh, Newfoundland, we could see some scattered showers. A few more coming out of uh, Quebec. You see a bit of the uh, rain there, not as much. And then working our way into our Wednesday, a passing shower or storm possible uh, as we get into the middle of the week. So isolated showers and storms, 30 to 40% chance the next couple days. But again, in Jamaica, later this week, that rain chance may really go up. There could be a developing system nearby. And same thing in the uh, Cayman Islands. Uh, as we work our way back toward Trinidad and Tobago, that higher chance of rain. Let me know your location and if you're getting any flooding. We did have a little bit of flooding last week. Some of the same spots could be dealing with that, especially with these uh, tropical waves moving in. Barbados, elevated chance of rain. Let me know how it's going the next couple days. And in St. Lucia, 50 to 60% chance. 60 to 70% chance, though, in Grenada, a very active period. In St. Vincent, the Grenadines, rain chance staying on the elevated side at least the next couple days. Martinique, about a 50% chance and a 50% chance in Dominica, and that's already been panning out. We've had some scattered showers and storms around. About a 40% chance in Guadeloupe. Had a couple storms uh, yesterday, though. 40% chance today in Antigua and Barbuda. This would be more of the passing variety. 30% chance Tuesday and Wednesday. 20 to 30% chance St. Kitts and Nevis and over toward Montserrat. Anguilla and St. Bart's 30 to 40% chance for today. And a 30% chance in St. Martin, Saba, and Stasia. Rain chance is not super high. Puerto Rico, isolated showers and storms around. Isolated the U.S. and British Virgin Islands in a 60% chance in the Bahamas. I mentioned some of those higher totals with that moisture around in the Bahamas. We've been uh, tracking that. Let me know uh, how, how it's going. Uh, Turks and Caicos, 30 to 40% chance. Scattered storms, mainly afternoon and evening variety in the Dominican Republic. Isolated storms, mainly afternoon and evening as we get into uh, Haiti. 30 to 40% chance in Belize. Still, if you get a storm, could give us some isolated flooding. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Rain chance is not super high, but uh, it does bump up a little bit. I'm going to see how this tropical wave hangs together as it moves in Wednesday and Thursday. Maybe we get a better chance of some uh, rain. Guyana watching the flooding. Rain chance uh, about 50-60% as we get into a Suriname and a 40-50% to 50 chance across Cuba. Watching out for some storms around. A 60% chance Costa Rica and Panama. 40-50% to 50 chance of rain and storms in Nicaragua and a 40% chance in Honduras. A 60-70% to 70 chance of scattered storms in Guatemala and El Salvador in a 50 to 60 percent chance as we work our way toward Mexico City. Rain chance holding at that elevated 60 percent chance across the Yucatan of Mexico and a 30 percent chance in Colombia. Rain chance 30 to 40 percent in northern Venezuela and that rain chance picking up with that front coming in in Bermuda. Rain chance bumps up a notch tomorrow and on Wednesday. So areas of heavier rain on the move. That big tropical wave moving in watching for some development and of course we had that earthquake. Uh, let's see yesterday or rather kind of the day before in the middle of the night uh, over toward uh, Venezuela in Trinidad. Thank you for letting me know if you felt it in the, the uh, comments. There was a couple of, there were a couple aftershocks yesterday. Just know that I am monitoring any earthquake activity, especially toward the southeastern Caribbean. So we could have some development this week. I will be tracking it for you. Be safe and have a good rest of your day.